What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering something that might be a little bit confusing to you. Basically, I reinstalled my PC the other day, and I used Google Drive Sync to keep my files backed up and synced with the cloud. It added a new computer entirely to Google Drive and started uploading all of my files again instead of combining them with the previous backup. What exactly do I mean? Well, I'll begin the example by simply downloading a Google Backup and Sync. If you haven't already got this installed, simply head across to the description down below, which is google.com slash drive slash download. Then find Backup and Sync, click Download, Agree, and install it once it's downloaded. Simply by clicking Run, and then following the steps on your screen if you see any. Eventually, we'll be asked to log into Google. I'll click Get Started and enter my email address. And eventually, we'll get to a screen like this. Usually I uncheck all of these and I add my projects folder. And as you can see, we have this over here. Simply make sure that you have at least one of these folders checked with at least one file inside of it. This projects folder over here was simply created by me and has nothing in it but a blank text document. So after we have at least one option checked, we can hit next and choose if we want to sync from our Google Drive to this PC. Usually I select folders and uncheck everything. So upon clicking start, our Windows Explorer restarts and we have backup and sync down here. It'll begin running through our files and uploading any if necessary. So heading across to drive.google.com, you can see my Google Drive documents over here. But if we expand the computer section, you can see my computer and my computer one. My computer is simply my desktop PC that I currently have running with all of my files inside of it. But when I reinstalled Windows, installed backup and sync, it created a second computer over here. Then after you have your old my computer and new computer over here, simply close out of your backup and restore software. So click the three dots, quit backup and sync, and all we'll do is we'll head across to my computer, select everything, and drag and drop it across to our second my computer over here. Once we've done that, we can simply minimize it, and we have our old my computer and our new my computer over here. Let's open up backup and sync once again. After opening it up and the engine starts to sync, we shouldn't notice much different. So I'll head across to the three dots, preferences, and then in this window, I'll go ahead and add my folders back. So choose folder and I'll start choosing my folders. So F drive YouTube captions is one of them that I have added. And when you get this option over here, simply click continue to merge the two files. Then we'll go and add the second folder, select, and we have the same option, continue. Then we'll go ahead and merge the third folder, Premiere Projects, Continue, and finally Thumbnails in this drive. Then after I've confirmed that I want to merge all of those, we'll go and add the other folders as well. So DREC, Voice Clips is another folder of mine. Then also E, Projects over here is my Projects folder, and this is probably the biggest one of all of them. Click and Continue, this will take some time to calculate. And there we go, last of all, I'll choose a folder, and it's simply over here, the repos folder, select folder, and this will also take some time to add. Upon getting prompted, I'll click continue, and I'll wait for it to calculate. And once we get to this point, simply click OK, and Google Drive should run through all of the files on your PC and verify that they're all uploaded. At this point, we can go ahead and select our old computer, right click, and click remove. Then we can select our new computer over here, and we can rename it to something a little bit more friendly than just my computer. So I'll name it to say my computer without the one after it. And now we've migrated from our old computer to our new computer and all of our backups should be syncing. This will take some time to complete as there's tons and tons of files that it needs to go through and check. But anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching this video. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.